Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the deterministic hint and how it affects the performance of function calls from SQL. If you haven't seen part one of this series, I'd suggest you go back and look at that first. It'll probably make a lot more sense that way. We'll repeat the setup we used in the scalar subquery caching video. We create a test table. We populate it with 10 rows of three distinct values. And then we create a slow function. We'll then use this function from a select statement and identify the problem. We have 10 rows in the test table. If we call the slow function from the select list, it gets called once per row. That results in an elapsed time of 10 seconds. 10 calls, 1 second per call. In the last video, we saw how scalar subquery caching could be used to solve this problem, provided we could change the SQL statement. If we're not able to change the SQL, then we need an alternative solution. One option is to use the deterministic hint. This was introduced in 8i to identify functions that could be used for function-based indexes. Oracle 10G Release 2 included a performance optimization centered around deterministic functions called from SQL statements. We'll recreate the function, but this time add the deterministic hint. Provided the array size is large enough to return all rows in a single call, we'd expect one call for each distinct value plus one extra call. We have 10 rows with three distinct values, so we expect an elapsed time of about 4 seconds. This is significantly better than the 10 seconds we had originally, and we haven't had to change the SQL statement at all. This optimization works in the same manner when used in the WHERE clause. Things start to get a little tricky if our array size is smaller than the total number of rows we're expecting to return. This is because the caching is only done per call, not per statement. Look what happens when we set the array size to 2. With this data set, we get no duplication of values in a single call, so the caching is useless and it takes the full 10 seconds to complete. This can make life very confusing when you're running the same statement with different tools, each with a different array size. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Tell me where. Just say it a few times. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com.